Hi, it's James here. And what we've got open is my Gmail inbox. You can see I've got an email that's just come through and it's got two attachments on it. And I can see from the icon that these are Excel attachments. I don't actually have, have Excel installed on my computer because I use um, Google Sheets. But with Google Sheets, I can open these Excel documents, edit them and send them back if I so wish to do so. Google Sheets is 100% compatible with Excel documents. So if someone sends you an Excel document, you don't need Excel. You can open it inside Google Sheets and this is how you do it. So I've opened the email. All I need to do is hover over one of the attachments and click edit with Google Sheets. This is this pen icon. So if I click that, you'll see that this sheet, this Excel document is now going to open inside Google Sheets, but it will actually remain in Excel format. If we look at the file name at the top, you'll see that it says XLSX. And then when I hover over, it also says Microsoft Excel format. So this is a Microsoft Excel document opened inside Google Sheets. And then now I can edit, I can click anywhere. I can type stuff in if I want to. I can even say, for example, select column F and because it's inside Google Sheets, it gets the benefits of Google Sheets as well. So it does everything Excel does, but you also get some added benefits. For example, the explore button in the bottom right hand corner. So by highlighting column F and hitting explore, I can get Google Sheets to quickly build a graph for me, a pie chart. That's a bit of a messy pie chart. So let's go and do country because that's going to make it a bit easier to see. So there we go. I've got a pie chart. It's done a pivot table for me. I can just drag that in there, drop it in there. I can put it into a new tab if I wanted to and send that back. And that is a Excel document and it will stay in an Excel document uh, that I'm editing live in Google Sheets. Let's try that other attachment that came through as well. So here's the next one. And this is a small business case flow document. So let's click on the pen icon again. This will open in a new tab and it will open inside Google Sheets, but it will remain an Excel formatted document. So as you can see, that's loading up now um, up at the top again, still an Excel formatted document. We've got some numbers in here for some cash flow. I can again click in these. I could change this number. Let's say change it to 7,000. That's all just being recalculated. Let's let's change one to a really big number so we can see a lot of changes. Let's add a couple of zeros to this one. There we go. That's all changed there. Um, and I can just send this back to the person who has sent it to me in Excel format. Or even better, I could hit the share button and I could give them access this way. And the benefit of me doing it this way is that they'll get a link to this document so they can open it on whatever device they are, but they can actually come into the document and work on it in real time with me so I can see them editing certain areas of the document while I'm editing others. But that is proof of concept that is showing Excel documents working inside Google Sheets. So if anyone tells you that's not possible, it's not true. They just haven't done their research. And as you can see, it's incredibly simple to do so. So save yourself a bit of money. You don't need to buy an Excel or Microsoft Office license, you can do this all inside Google Sheets.